All right, boys and girls, welcome to the Daily Crack this morning. And this is um, another Sunday, and another Sunday hangover free. So that's now me down. I've done a, a solid two weeks now in a row where there's been no drinking at the weekend, and it was a pretty fucking easy thing to uh, do and master. And I just set myself up for a success, and it's worked. So here I am again, another Sunday in succession, having a chat with you guys. And before we get going, if you're watching this video, please comment below if you're watching it, hashtag live. And if you're watching it later on, hashtag replay. And I also have something, a little bit of an announcement to let you know on. Um, for those of you that want to hear more of me ranting shite uh, with some of my mates, um, there, I've just launched a new podcast called The Crack Pit. Crack spelled C-R-A-I-C, pit. All right, so it's wherever you can find podcasts, it's there. Um, so yeah, give those a little, little bit of a listen and a little bit of what I'm going to be talking about today um, is in relation to our last podcast, podcast number four, where we talk about the reasons why I'm giving drink a bit of a knock on the head for a while. Not going to be a teetotaler, just figuring out a new way to approach having a drink and not binge drinking. So if you want to listen to that, but also we talk about um, mental health. And the, the title here is like, you know, the pubs could be the cure for mental health. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by that now um, uh, very shortly. But um, it's, of course, it's been mental health week this week. Um, and it's, I think it's, you know, it's a fantastic thing that people get prompted, you know, to check in on others and to check in on themselves and whatnot. But I also feel a little bit disappointed that we need to be prompted. You know, it's, um, it's like, uh, you know, these are you okay days um, where you're prompted to ask someone how they are or uh, if they're okay. And really and truly, we shouldn't need these prompts. If you, um, if you see a friend that's a, bit, a little bit down in the mouth and there's something going on, it, you should be able to ask them and you should be there for them. And likewise, if you feel that you're going through something, um, have you got that support network around you where you can confide in them where you know that um, no matter what you say there's no judgment there's just an ear to listen to because sometimes that's all people want um, yeah and it's just I suppose a little bit of me does uh, I, I, listen I'm not saying it's a bad thing these these events get held or these weeks are established that these are you okay days are there there it's good it's a very very good thing but I think this is something that we need to do year round um, and what I have noticed is uh, women are very very good at this you know when um, when uh, when um, when there's a someone's after breaking up with someone or you know someone's going through uh, maybe a divorce or a hard time at work or, or something like this well you should see women how, how they how they go about things they just flock they just flock there's there's women bringing tissues bottles of champagne everyone's surrounded like you know if they're they, sometimes they meet up at a house sometimes they meet up at a bar sometimes they just have a night out with the ladies it doesn't matter but women are fantastic at sharing um, their emotions and opening up about how they feel and they not only do this in groups but they do it via messaging they're constantly talking 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 and they get reinforcement from their friends and they're backed up and they're encouraged and it's easy boys on the other hand are very very bad at this um boys have kind of got this i suppose responsibility on their shoulders that they need to be the strong ones they need to be the the backbone of the the crew of the, 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 the bunch of guys, you wanna be seen like a man, you don't wanna be seen to have weaknesses, you gotta be the one that's the breadwinner. You know, there's all these social expectations that are put on men that, I don't know where they really come from, but it, it makes men shut down. And, you know, we have a huge issue at the moment where we are all locked down in our own homes and there's no pubs to go to, there's no outlets for a lot of people and uh, you know mental health is a serious problem and obviously suicide as well I, I don't think it need to be any I don't need to be repeating the statistics but I think we all know that uh, men are pretty much uh, the highest um, ones to act on suicide more so than females and I believe a lot of it is because they don't talk they don't talk about the problems they bottle stuff up and they keep it all to themselves which is which is a shame which is a shame um, and especially now at this time, uh, so like, 
fellas don't really talk about things, but there is a time when they do. And that time for a lot of fellas is when they go to the pub. You know, they have a few beers uh, with their mates um, and they can somewhat, you know, maybe dance over the topic of what's bothering them. And you'll always have a mate there to kind of pat you on the back. And and I, I suppose it's, it's not that you want your mate just to boost you up and tell you it's all right. Let's say a fella's he's struggling at home and like he, 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 something's going wrong in the relationship and maybe he's lost his job and he's, he's trying to keep everything afloat, but he's, he just doesn't know what to do. And it's not, you don't, you don't need, necessarily need your mate to say, oh, come up with a solution for you. Okay, this is what you need to do. This is the problem. What, what the best thing about good mates are is they'll pat you on the back and be like, mate, I'm exactly where you are right now. So for, for fellas to talk to each other, it's kind of normalizing uh, what the problems are and understand that you're not in this hole on your own. Um, and that's why I think the pub is the cure for mental health. Listen, the pub comes with a, a load of other uh, t attachments to it, but for men, maybe it's that couple of pints after work, maybe it's that Sunday session. Um, for me and my, my friends that we haven't been able to do this in, in a long time, we used to watch the UFC on a Sunday once a month and a lot of us would catch up. Now, I don't have any kids, but a lot of my friends do. So they can't come out on a Saturday night as often as like I would go out and stuff like that, but I still like to catch up with them. So to catch up on a, over here in Australia, the UFC is normally on a, on a Sunday morning uh, between 12 and four. So we go to the, the local pub and I shit you not, the amount of times that we actually haven't watched the UFC because the, there's an unspoken rule and the unspoken rule rules are basically this. You come along and you bring your problems and we discuss your problems and there's no fucking judgment and if anyone is judgmental in any way shape or form or they're like oh fucking suck it up mate you're out of the fucking group and it's for lads only there's no fucking women allowed in this it's for the boys to catch up have beers together have a bit of a feed watch the UFC maybe but talk about your shit and there's always stuff there is always stuff you're like I have brought stuff to the table. I've gone through breakups and, and I need to talk to the boys. And the boys have been there and supportive and great. And I feel, I felt better after this, after our catch up. And likewise, the boys that I haven't seen in a, in a, in a few weeks because the, like they're like looking after their families and their kids, you know, they bring their stuff as well. And we talk about that. And for me, it's a good insight into a family life. So I'm learning stuff from them as well as understanding problems that are going on. And between us all, the, like the six or seven of us that are always there, um, that session is awesome. And the, and the, and the, the most in, important or the, the common denominator is it's in the fucking pub. And I know probably people are like uh, saying to me here, well, you can just meet up at someone's house and this, that, and the other. And it's not the same. It's not the same. There's something about just rocking up to the pub and sitting at the bar and swallowing a few pints. It's just, I'm old fashioned. I'm an Irish guy, I'm old fashioned. I, I, was, I was reared in the pub. But it does, there's nothing better than like heading out and meeting the lads at a certain location um, and just swallowing pints and talking shit. And talking shit. So, that was a, a major rant. It, it's been men mental health week. But let's make it mental health year. Does, man, uh, I was chatting to a friend last night and he said it's been a non-eventful year. Man, it's been the most eventful year of our lives. Like we have gone through some fucking woeful shit and we have still some more woeful shit to get through. But um, like talk, don't wait for someone to ask you. It's not about being prompted to want to speak. If you have stuff on your mind that you're, you've constantly got this internal dialogue in your head, um, talk about it. Don't just like go round and round and round because you know that that internal dialogue, you start to believe it and it's probably, it's not fucking true. You know, it, 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 you, it goes on and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on so much that it, it fucks you up and I can send you into a very dark place. So rather than having this internal dialogue and trying to nut it out yourself, a problem shared is a problem halved. Talk. Talk to your partner, ring a mate. Um, if it's if girls here, fucking get on a Zoom chat with the girls. If it's lads, fucking just do the same. Get on a Zoom chat with the lads. Um, it's important to talk to someone that you know and you trust. That's another reason why, you know, that are you okay day is like, if it's someone that work that you don't really know and they ask you that, you're going to be like, fucking who the fuck are you, man? Like, you know, what the fuck? But it, it's still a good thing that they're doing it. Um, 
And some, actually, you know what? Sometimes talking to someone that you don't know is best because they're impartial. They don't know. They don't know the situation. So it's sometimes it's just putting it out there for someone else to hear that doesn't know the situation, and that can help as well. So the long and short of it, boys and girls, is more than a mental health week. Let's make it a mental health year, and keep that going. Check in on friends. Uh, open up yourself. Talk about stuff. Remember what you're grateful for. We, we always lose sight in that because we're very quick to go to the neg negative. There's a lot of good things in your life right now. It's just you don't see them, but they're fucking in front of you. Um, so remember those things. Remind yourself of those things and look after one another. You know, do your best to stay healthy. Eat, well, eat good. Go for walks. Get out in the sun as much as possible and do your best for one another. And that's as simple as it is. Remember, if you're watching this um, now, hashtag live. If you're watching it later on, Hashtag replay. Check out my podcast, The Crack Pit. And boys and germs, that's all for a super scoop on Sunday. Without the scoops, giddy up. <laughs>